Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Gamecock Chuck back. Got another video for you guys. Y'all heard the saying, uh, cheaters never win and winners never cheat. Well, that saying was dispelled last night as uh, Michigan captured their first uh, NCAA championship in football since 1997, beating uh, Washington pretty good, 34 to 34 to 13 behind 303 yards, I believe it was, of rushing. Blake Corum had a night. Uh, the other running back, Edwards, I think it was, he had a night as well. Both of them over, well over 100 yards. Um, Washington just couldn't get anything going, couldn't get anything started. Michael Penix looked like he was out of sorts, looked like he was um, just wasn't himself. He was missing wide open receivers, um, making bad, ill-advised throws. Um, but but a credit, uh, give credit to Michigan, Michigan's defense. Uh, top defense in the country. We knew it was going to happen. Top defense in the country. Uh, pretty solid and stout offensive team in the country going head-to-head. -head. Somebody had to win, and, and the defense won. It, it's proven true. Defense do win championships. Um, great season for both both teams. Uh, both of them was both undefeated division uh, conference champions. Um, next year, they're going to be playing together in the Big Ten, so see how that works out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Michigan got out of there with a victory, man. Congratulations to the to the players. I'm not gonna say congratulations to the team because, like I alluded just a minute ago, cheaters do win, I guess. And I'm not gonna give credit to the cheaters. I'm talking about the coaching staff. Um, everybody knows the whole situation with Connor Stallions uh, stealing signs, whatever. You know that, that that's what it is. Um, I just don't understand how the NCAA allowed them to play in this game, but you know. Knowing the NCAA, the way they drag their ass at doing things, not surprised. Uh, will this will this championship be scarred by that? I don't know. Who knows? Um, I feel bad for the players that's going to be left behind because according to some things I've been hearing, some rumblings I've been hearing, uh, Jim, Bar Jim Harbaugh is going to leave them players high and dry. High and freaking dry. I'm hearing he's headed off to the NFL. Um possibly got something lined up we shall see we all know how that works it someday sometimes it just falls through so you never know uh, could he end up you know we do have we do have three what a couple of nfl jobs open the falcons the panthers and also heard rumblings of the bears you know looking at harbor or whatever um will he go back and play or to go back and uh coach the bears you know team he played for i don't know um what i'm hearing is it's going to be a team from the NFC South. That's what I'm hearing. Um, I don't, like I said, I'm not. You never know about things like that. It's just, just some rumblings I've heard. Um, hopefully, he don't piss off the owner because you know it could be. You know, could get a drink thrown on him. I'm just, that's all I'm going to say about that. So, but anyway, I think it's pretty shitty if he does leave these players high and dry and head off to the NFL, which probably more likely going to happen uh anytime a coach does that they head on to the nfl that way it doesn't tarnish their uh i guess it doesn't tarnish their record so to say but anyway michigan national champions can't take nothing away from the players they did a hell of a job for michigan um like i said i'm not going to congratulate the staff because i think they're a piece of shit but that's that's my thoughts on it so y'all get in the comments let me know what y'all thought of the game let me know what y'all think of Michigan, and uh, y'all have a blessed day. Gamecock Chuck, I'm out. Go Gamecocks.